Abandonment disorder, also referred as abandonment syndrome, is caused by an adverse experience or experiences that leave a person feeling unsafe, fearful, and alone. The intense emotional distress can impact a person's mental health over a lifetime. My name is Aisha and welcome to a crime murder talk D06. Let's take a look at this case of Nick Thomas who is terminally ill by this abandonment disorder. Started our story with the background of Nick Thomas himself, a 33 years old man, a biological professor from a medical university. He was born in Singapore with 108 CMH, an orphan. His parents died when he was small. He is the only child and does not have any other family member. Nick Thomas, who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth, his father has been shot dead by someone because of envy. Then, after a few months of the same year, his mother died because of the heart disease. After his parents passed away, he lived with his butler. This is when the abandonment disorder begins to grow in him. In the year of 2012, he graduated as professor in biological course of human body. Nick then got a job to be a lecturer in one of the medical universities in Malaysia that located at Penang, known as University Science Malaysia, USM. After a year working at USM, he became more friendly with his student and college. He was known as a kind and hardworking person. Beginning the new semester, there is a new student named Maria Rose registered in his classroom. Maria Rose, a 21 years old girl that came from a poor family. She is a very beautiful person with an innocent attitude. But unfortunately, after two semesters, she keeps repeating the semester because of failing Professor Nick's subject. Then she thinks that she must do something to successfully graduate next semester. She got an idea to be more closer to Professor Nick. Luckily, Professor Nick are kind enough to give her extra mark for her to pass. After two weeks of spending time together, Nick starting to catch her feelings towards Maria. He thinks that Maria loves him more than a lecturer and a student relationship. Nick then offers Maria for a free private tuition. At first, Maria hesitated because she's scared that her classmate be making a story about her dating her own lecturer. After an hour of convincing Maria, Nick successfully gained her trust every weekend Maria will went to Nick's apartment for the tutor. It is like a normal class but only Maria and Nick alone. Not until one day after four weeks of the private tuition, when they were happily talking during the lesson break, Maria accidentally brought a story about her boyfriend proposed her last month and she also showed Nick the engagement ring on her finger. Nick shocked by her stories but pretending like nothing happened and he suddenly ended the lesson that day. After a week passed by, just like a normal tuition at Nick's apartment, but this time Nick had prepared a snack for Maria. Without hesitation, Maria just ate the meal because she was not eating yet. A few minutes later, while she was listening to Nick's lecture, her head began to blank and her eyes started to feel sleepy. Nick came closer to her with a creepy smile on his face and he said, Good night, Maria. Then Maria fainted beside the table. <laughs> Nick then took Maria to his secret room in his apartment. He dragged Maria like she was a corpse. Then he tied Maria's leg using a thick rope. Then hanged her body in the special room. Maria's body with a mass of 35 kilograms is lowered by a rope. The force in the rope is 343.4 Newton. While waiting for Maria to wake up, he heat up a water kettle and make his favorite coffee. After three hours of fainted in a drowsy state, Maria woke up and she looked at Nick who is smiling in front of her upside down. She just realized that she is the one who is in the upside down position. Her leg was being tied and she was in a dimly lit room. She got panicked and she screamed loudly. Where am I? After crying in fear. Nick just sit there peacefully on the chair while looking at her. He stand up then walk towards Maria and whisper to her right ear. 
You are with me, Maria. Then he laughed crazily. After that, he hardly slapped Maria like she was a doll. Then Maria's lips started to bleed. Maria begging him to stop. Then Nick continued pounding Maria in the face repeatedly until she passed out again. Nick then took a towel to clean his hand that is covered with Maria's blood. After a few minutes, Maria woke up and Nick asked her how long humans can hold their breath underwater. Nick then take a 55-gallon barrel water container and put it under Maria's head while she is still hanging. He then rolled down the rope and Maria's head slowly drowned into the water. Maria screamed for help but there is no way someone will hear it because the room is soundproof. A few seconds later, Nick pulled up the rope and he heard Maria breathing heavily while crying. He then smiled and told Maria, this is just the beginning of the activity, let's spend our time together. He then pulled down the roller again to release Maria. Her body is weak that she cannot even lift her fingers. Nick had Maria sat on a steel chair and tied her up again with a tape. He then took out a clamp and started to pull out Maria's nail one by one from hand to foot nail. He put a wet towel in Maria's mouth to avoid her from screaming. Maria's face is so much in pain and fears. Afterward, Nick brought a cake that has candles light up to Maria. On the cake, there is written, Happy Dead Day to You. Maria begged him to stop. Nick asked Maria to blow up the candle. After Maria followed Nick's orders, immediately Nick stabbed Maria with a knife while whispered to her ear, If I cannot have you, then no one else can. After that, Nick took a bit luggage and put Maria's body inside it. He pulled out the luggage with a force of 120 newton. The total mass of Maria and the suitcase is 40 kg. The friction between suitcase and the floor is 40 newton. Then he placed the luggage in his car. He started the engine and drive to Penang Bridge to throw the luggage in the water. The luggage was dropped into the sea with a speed of 20 mm per second from 90 m bridge. The time is taken for the luggage to reach the sea is 4.3 seconds. Two days after Maria's murder, Nick went back to his apartment but his apartment has already surrounded by police and also family member of Maria standing there waiting for him. It was weird that Nick just smiled to them like nothing happened. One of the police officers told him to stop. Then he asked him, do you know where Maria Rose go? He pretended like he does not know anything. The police said that Maria has gone missing for two days. Maria's family stated that the last time they saw Maria was on a morning before Maria said she wanted to go to Nick's house for her private tuition. Nick started to panic. He thought Maria was not going to tell anyone that he offers her a free private tuition. After that, the officer showed Nick a warrant for them to check his apartment, but unfortunately there is no evidence found that Maria went to Nick's house two days ago. The Police officer also checks the CCTV footage of the apartment, but unfortunately, the CCTV was broken almost a week. The only footage that they have is when Nick was pulled a luggage, but he insisted by saying that he went on a trip two days ago. His statement is suspicious. Then Nick got arrested by the police while the case is in investigation. A week has passed. Nick have not yet been proven to be the last person Maria met before she gone missing. Nick then got released. In April of 2014, police department got a call from a fisherman named Pa Abu. He reported that he found a mysterious luggage near a riverbank. After that, the luggage was sent to the forensic to investigate. When they managed to open it, they all shocked because of an unidentified dead body without a fingernail or footnail has been written inside the luggage. The forensic stated that the body has been in the luggage for about a month. Also, they found a bag, a pair of shoes and a student card. There was also a book but all of it has become wet and unreadable. The student card has Maria name and picture on it. 
The police believe that the cop is Maria Rose. The police call Maria family and tell them that Maria's body was found. The mysterious luggage was similar to the one that caught from the CCTV footage at Nick's apartment. The police believe that the luggage belongs to Nick. Nick house one again got searched by the police. A weird thing was found in a jar from Nick fridge and shockingly, that was Maria's nail. All the evidence are leading toward Nick Thomas. Nick Thomas, who is the main suspect, got arrested. He finally admitted all of his crime towards Maria in the court. His motive was because he scared that Maria will left him like what happened to him in the past. Nick Thomas was found guilty and then sentenced to death by the court. That is the end of brutal case of Nick Thomas. Thank you for watching. Based on Nick Thomas' cases, there were about three situations that related with topic in subject introduction to mechanics. The first situation related with subtopic 4.3 from 2, which is normal force or reaction force. Normal force or reaction force is defined as a reaction force that exerts by the surface and the direction is always perpendicular to the surface. The situation one is when Nick dragged Maria like she was a corpse and he tied Maria leg, Maria's leg using thick rope and hang her body at the fence. Action, weight of an object is exerted on the horizontal surface. Why the reaction is surface is exerted a force R on the object. Since total Fy equal to R minus Mg equal to zero, therefore R equal to Mg. Okay, next we can see the situation. A body of mass 35 kg is lowered vertically by a rope. So we want to find the force in the rope. When R equal to W, so we substitute W with R. So the formula we will get is R equal to mg. So we substitute the value into this formula. So we will get the answer is 343.4 Newton. Second situation is related with subtopic 2.3, which is composition and resolution of forces at the A point. Since two forces can combine to give a single resultant force, therefore, when reversing the process, a single force can also be resolved or broken up into two components. This reverse process is known as resolution of forces. Usually, a force is resolved into components which are per perpendicular to each other. If there are more than two forces involved, this method is used in finding the resultant force. This syllabus is related with situation 2, which is when Nick took a big luggage and put Maria's body inside it. Then he put the luggage to place in the luggage in his car. Okay, here the situation. Nick applied luggage with a force of 120 N, which means an angle of 40 degree with the direction of motion. The total mass of the victim and the luggage is 40 kg and the friction between luggage and the floor is 40 N. So the horizontal component which is F cos theta while the vertical component is F sin theta. So between the based on this situation we have we must use the horizontal component to get the answer. So, we substitute the value into this formula which is F cos theta minus F which is friction. So, we will get the answer is 51.93. So, the next one is we want to find the acceleration. So, we use the formula F equal to MA. F equal to MA. F which is the answer that we get, later, we get earlier which is 5. 1.93 equal to 40 multiplied with A. So A, which is the acceleration, we will get the 1.3 M per second. The last situation is related with subtopic 3.2.C, which is free falling body motion. A free falling body is defined as vertical motion of a body and constant acceleration under gravitational field without air resistance. In the earth gravitational field, the constant 
acceleration t is also known as acceleration due to gravity or free fall acceleration. Okay, the last situation is when the luggage was dropped into the sea. The last situation is when a luggage is dropped into the sea with a speed of 20 meter per second from a 90 meter bridge. Assuming that the acceleration due to gravity, g, is 9.81, the time taken, so we want to find the time taken for the suitcase is just the c. So we we use the formula s equal to u t minus 1 over 2 g t squared, and we substitute the value, so the answer is t equal to 4.3 seconds. So the time taken for the suitcase reaches is 4.3 seconds. Hi, I'm Dr. Aisha, a psychologist, and we're about to discuss the details main topic of abandonment disorder. Okay, so what is fear of abandonment? Fear of abandonment is a type of anxiety that some people experience when faced with the idea of losing someone that they care about. Everyone deals with death or the end of relationships in their lifetime. Loss is a natural part of life. However, people with abandonment issues live in fear of these losers. They may also exhibit behaviors that push people to live so they never surprised by the loss. A fear of abandonment is not a recognized condition or mental health disorder. Instead, instead it is considered a type of anxiety and is treated as such.